Hello everyone, I hope everyone's doing alright. So with this song, it's comprised of two parts. The first part is two four bar loops that are essentially repeated through the whole of the first part. There's some minor differences, but the first part is basically two four bar loops. And then the second part towards the end of the song is is made up of the is made up of chords that are in the first part but it's just slightly different but um I'll be going on to that so to start off with the first part like I said it's two four bar loops I'll just run through the first one Okay, so this first part, it starts on A minor 9, voice like this, so that's A in the left hand, G, E, C, E. And then, I'm gonna play this, which is essentially E minor 7 with the 11th for the 4th in the A. But you're gonna play it like this, so you're gonna hit these octaves down here. And then immediately after you're gonna hit you're gonna hit the G and then ripple these three notes A B D so from the start so if I was to play that at normal tempo and then after that you're holding the G down in the right hand and you're playing an inversion of D major, so that's F sharps in the left hand, and A and D in the right, and then going to G, and again holding on to these notes, not playing anything again, just octave G's in the left hand, and then two octave C's. So that part again. get to the C you let go of the right hand. So from the beginning then once you get to here you play an F sharp into B7. This F sharp and then B D sharp A. that at normal tempo and then D in the right hand F sharp and then D F sharp let me just double check that so yeah that's right so D F sharp down here then D F sharp so that's the first main 4 bar loop and then I'll just run through that once more at normal uh, tempo and then I'll go on to the second 4 bar loop so this once more okay so the second 4 bar loop it starts on the same it starts on the same chord and there's not really too much difference between them, so... So with this one, you count in, you're going into the next bar before going into the next chord, because it stays on that for quite a while, so... minor 9, so that's E, B, D, on the left hand with F sharp, on the right. Then immediately after hitting this, you're going to play. So that's just a quick run up of G, A, B, D, E. So from the start. 
Into C major seven, so that's season C is in the left hand and then E G in the right. And after you hit this So you hit that chord and then Seven, so that's E in the left hand and D, and then in the right, G, E, D. Then you're going to play D, and then the B7 chord from before in the left hand. Just be back to the first loop. So that second loop once more. So that's the first part of the song and it's mainly those two loops that are repeated over and over. There's some slight differences throughout, but it's, those are basically the two loops for the first part of the song. And then the second part of the song is, it's still on this A minor 9 chord, but it's like this with a G on the top as well. And then has a string part which seems to play this kind of chord, which is D major, so that's D, in the right but it has a sounds like it's got a G in there as well left over from the last chord so and this is the string section and I just play it like that from what it sounds like to me so that once again into that B7 chord from before except this time we got a sharp 9 in there as well This is essentially all this last part is doing, it's just going through, through these three chords. Just the piano on its own, it's just playing only the only those two. And then at the end it goes to E minor before going back into the E7 chord and then it goes back into the original idea. So, the second part is basically this. Or you could just play the only the two chords. And then on the last one, it goes to E minor. Now with this, because, because you're just playing chords, there's quite a lot of uh, space and things you could do. So just as a suggestion, I would say the G, the G major scale is, I imagine there's other notes you could use, but the G major scale is quite good to um, play over the top of these chords. So for example, said to improvise over the top of it and again I'm sure there's other notes outside of the, outside of the G major scale that you could use but 
those uh that's a good start that's good to start off with at least but um yeah that's pretty much the entire song the only thing is um, so on this part so on the last one when it goes to e minor on the fourth repetition of this idea so playing these octaves down here and then immediately playing e b Bringing the left hand over to play G A B, and then the right hand's coming over to play D E G. Back into that B7 chord, you can play it like this: um, the B7 in the left hand and D major in the right, having the extensions of the sharp nine. And um, you could also play. extension but basically B7 and um, just after the E minor that's how I play anyway going into this B major, uh, G major inversion and then A minor 9 to end with like that but yeah that's that's basically the entire song <laughs>